Hey guys, welcome to the Tableau tutorial and uh, here in this video I will talk about the segment, the clustering. So in the pre my previous video I have talked about uh, what is clustering and uh, we took the iris data to create a cluster between to identify the three different species of flower. And here in this video I am just showing you one other example that will basically help you get uh, more understanding and probably you know you will be able to see the clustering from a you know different angle about how you can apply it so what i am going to use is the titanic data it's one of the very famous machine learning data set the titanic and i will paste the link i will upload this on a google drive and paste the link so that you can also download it and uh, what it basically has uh, some of the values related to passenger ID, ticket class, what class is survived. That's basically your uh, target variable is what we usually say in machine learning is whether somebody survived or not. So what we will going to do is uh, by looking at the gender, maybe by age, maybe by, you know, their, uh, say for example, ticket class based on all of these features that you have in this data set we will try to see and try to create a cluster uh, to understand whether survived or not survived shows some sort of uh, common char characteristics or whether our clustering algorithm identifies who really survived and who did not survive based on the different features that we have so here we have the titanic data and now, now let's go into the sheet so the first thing uh, or the first two variables that we will going to take is, is let's say um, maybe age and uh, ticket class for example. So what can we do is age and uh, ticket class and quickly we will do is within the analysis we will remove aggregate measure. So here we have the ticket class class 1, class 2, class 3 right and this is the various ages which are traveling in these different classes all right so once you have it what we can do is uh, go into analytics and we have the cluster i will just bring the cluster over here and put it here and uh, here we have each ticket class okay as the two variables which it has uh, the algorithm has taken into consideration for creating the clusters now what it is doing is uh, it is saying cluster one cluster two cluster three and not clustered but uh, and it's basically i automatic identification of cluster as you can see number of cluster is automatic over here but since we know that there is only two which is uh, either somebody survived or not survived what we'll do is just press two and hit enter now we have cluster one cluster two and not cluster so probably not clustered is something like for the nulls so no issues on that i'll just close this and uh, cluster one uh, and cluster two are showing some sort of properties so what i'll do is uh, i will just go into this and i will take the survive on the detail okay and i will try to see survived is one here in this case so as you can see maybe survive is related to the cluster two so in most of these cases if you see survive is one and here in most in cases survived is either one or zero right so what we'll do is tr let's try to visually compare it and let's try to create a copy and uh, paste so here we are and uh, let's remove the cluster uh, quick remove and let's put survive on color and here as you can see basically 0 and 1 is your cluster and uh, there are some of the higher ages which were not you know uh, which were not survived and some of the children's and middle age but as you can see there are a lot of people from class 1 and class 2 as compared to the class 3 who got survived so right now our algorithm is not clearly showing that so what we can do is 
let's go into the cluster click on the added cluster and along with the age and ticket class what we can do is we can add the survived as well and now let's see it okay now if you see we have a uh, you know good representation in terms of who survived and who did not survive for example this saying that uh, this person has survived and the ticket class is 3 as compared to the, this one this person is not survived and the ticket class was 3 right similarly in here in this case seems like all of these are children's who really got survived but all these middle-aged guys you know were not able to survive much like in this case uh, children as well as some of the middle age as well as uh, here in case of the uh, old age people who got survived so let's try to compare it with the sheet 2 that we have so here in case let's say these two is indicating not survived and this is indicating it survived and if I go you will see that a similar sort of representation similarly in here in this case all of these children got survived and uh, let's see the actual yeah even in the actual you will see that all of these guys were really survived and here in this case these are the two interesting observations from the actual data here we are not using any clustering as you can see and it is saying that these two guys uh, have survived and uh, let's see it over here and see these two guys clearly indicating uh, in a different cluster and it is basically saying that they have been survived so we can get some confidence based on based on this visual representation analysis now in the last video I have shown you how you can really you know uh, take the cluster create uh, a dimension out of it and then uh, create a true false values based on uh, after comparing it with the uh, here in this case survived so how you can do that you can visit my previous video the very first video of tableau machine learning and uh, see it how i have done it so that you can do the exercise over here now let's uh, try to see uh, the similar sort of uh, uh, analysis from a different angle or from a different variable so what i'll do is i'll add one more sheet over here and uh, let's now take uh, for example each and let's take general and analysis aggregate measures we have removed it so let's keep it actual and I'll just put the color so this is our color and uh, zero is indicating the not survived but we do not want range we just want proper color so I'll just go in this and click on edit color and uh, I just want two right and uh, maybe uh, what i can do is i can use a better one like this not diverging so this is indicating zero this is blue is indicating survived so we can clearly see this so now we have uh, a clear idea about how my actual values are looking so what i'll do is i can create a copy and paste it and now let's try to shift it on the right and now let's you know uh, I will just remove it put it on detail and uh, add the clustering I'll add the cluster by dragging it over here so now we have gender age and survived right and by default it is identifying four cluster based on its automatic algorithm but we know that we just need two cluster all right and uh, cluster one cluster two if you want you can remove that but say for example there is nothing but probably the nulls so what i can do is uh, i can go to the clusters and click on the so, so not the sort filter click on the filter and remove this so i have a clear representation now if you see uh, on the female as we can see are more survivors so let's see if that is the same case on the actual data so female one and as you can see it's a lot of females which it has ident uh, the actual data is saying that they have been survived and as compared to you know all of these males 
So only in cases like uh, children's we are able to see it. And these guys uh, who were pretty young, but as you are moving on the age 55 and beyond that, they did not survive. So let's see what clustering is doing. So in clustering, some of the values it is identifying in case of children that they have not survived, which I think is a misclassification or misclass missing pieces. Uh, but here in cases, you know, it is specifying or identifying that they have not survived and here also. So in case of uh, age and gender, uh, we are seeing that clustering is not very, very effective and uh, giving us more false values uh, when we compare it with the age and ticket class. So that's the kind of experiment we really need to do to identify what variables are really making sense. And uh, based on that, say for example, in added cluster, we have age, gender, maybe let's say uh, having a ticket class makes sense. That's what we have identified. So what I'll do is add a class and try to see whether it improves the result or not. So this way you can experiment with the data and experiment with your variables, create a different views. And finally, to consolidate the views, you can create either a dashboard or maybe a story to, to basically, you know, drag your sheets and uh, try to create a story that based on your observations, what are the variables that are really contributing to identify the good clusters and what are those clusters. So that's pretty much about it. I will try to gather more and more examples for you so that you can do more and more practice. But uh, yeah, uh, I will try to create more videos from forecasting as well, which is uh, the inbuilt into the Tableau. So stay tuned for that.